For those of you on academic probation, there are ways to fix your GPA besides doing well in your current coursework. You can repeat courses as well as complete a process called academic renewal if you qualify. You may repeat coursework in which you received a D or F grade. There is no limit to the number of units that can be repeated. The first grade will not be calculated into your GPA. However, the grade will still be on your transcript. You must turn in a petition in order for this to reflect on your transcript. It is not automatic. Beginning fall 2012, you are only allowed three attempts for any course. A W is considered to be an attempt. You will not be allowed to register for this same class within the LA Community College District. You must petition to retake the course for a fourth time or take it outside the district. There are some possible disadvantages to repeating classes. If you receive a lower grade, that grade will be calculated into your GPA. You do not receive additional units when you repeat a class and you must pay for the course. Some colleges and universities, for example, USC, do not honor repeat policies. Therefore, all grades will still be calculated into your GPA. Another way to improve your GPA is academic renewal. Academic renewal is a way to have courses not calculated into your GPA without having to repeat the course. You may petition up to 18 units of coursework with D or F grades to not be calculated into your GPA. To petition for academic renewal, it must be two calendar years since you have taken the course, and you must have a 2.5 GPA in your most re recent 15 units or a 2.0 GPA in your most recent 30 units. There are some disadvantages to academic renewal. Some colleges and universities, like USC, do not honor academic renewal policies. Therefore, all grades will still be calculated into your GPA. For students on academic probation, you may consider dropping a course before you get a D or F grade in order to not lower your GPA. Check the schedule of classes for the different drop deadlines. You may or may not be eligible for the withdrawal to be noted on your transcript, and you may or may not be eligible for a refund. Don't drop too many courses, or you will be put on progress probation. Thank you for completing this workshop. We hope that you learned some valuable tools that you will be able to apply to succeed academically. We are here to offer you the support you need, so please take advantage of the many services we have on campus to help you.